piano teachers. I'm Doreen Hall, and I have a website called palomapiano.com where I publish music that I write and resources that I create for students and teachers. In this video, I want to talk about going back to school and getting ready for the fall semester. Oh, I am looking forward to the fall, but there are also some challenges about that. So if you like these kind of piano teaching videos, I ask you to please hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you look and scroll down, you'll see that there's lots of music and teaching tips and resources that you can look at on this channel. And if you subscribe, you'll get notifications when new stuff comes out and new videos. Getting back to the subject at hand, what am I doing to get ready for the fall semester? First and foremost, I'm choosing to have a great attitude about it because I know that my attitude is really going to affect my student's attitude. So if I'm excited, I'm happy, if I have a great dream for this new year, then that's going to rub off on them. So the first thing I'm going to do is after I get my great attitude, I should say the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tentative schedule. And we'll seem like we settle into a really good schedule and then school will start and inevitably by week two, week three, everything will go out the window, or not everything, but maybe half of it, and Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, soccer, chess club, ice skating, all those activities that can't be moved around will set in and everybody will want to change their piano lesson if they have another activity. And I know that is really frustrating for us. It is. In the past, I feel like I'm just a low man on the totem pole. Why is piano lessons like the last thing, you know, that everybody wants to bounce around? But a lot of that's just because everything else is group classes and this is a private lesson, so it seems easier. Usually by October, or the end of September, beginning of October, things have kind of just leveled out and we're, we're all set to go. After I do all these other things, I'm going to do something really important, which is go shopping. So I'm gonna probably buy myself a new outfit or two, or maybe something new for my studio, a new coffee mug, just something, not spending a lot of money, but just to lift my spirits. Kids love school shopping. I think uh, I'm gonna treat myself to some school shopping as well and just get excited. The next thing I'm gonna do on my way home from that is I'm gonna stop at the dollar store. I'm gonna get some binders. I'm gonna get some spiral notebooks. I'm gonna get some pencils and some, some of those little sticky things that you put on the pages to mark the pages. All those kind of things that are just gonna make everything, some highlighters, gonna make everything, you know, really run smoothly and make it look, make myself look really organized. You know, when parents come in and they see I have all this stuff ready to go, I'm gonna look really good. And then after that, I'm gonna take some time to tidy up my space and I'm gonna get my piano tuned so it sounds really great when the students come back in and I'm gonna get all those things in place. If you're a travel teacher, you might wanna think about just cleaning out your car or maybe even treating yourself to have your car detailed if you spend a lot of time in your car so that you can just really feel good about it. When I get that done, the next thing I'm gonna do is go through my student list and I'm gonna think about repertoire. And I'm gonna think about all the great new pieces that we're gonna play this year. Now I used to teach for many years in South Florida so I had a lot of advanced students but when I came to Cleveland, almost everybody was a beginner again. So now they're just getting into that like intermediate, later intermediate stage, which for me is exciting when I can think about all the things that I can teach this year. I'm gonna buy some books, for my online students, I'm going to send links for everything that they need. Um, I'm going to also send PDFs that have to be attached so that they have that stuff ready to go so that everybody's really stocked up on repertoire because that's going to make my job go much easier. After that, I want to turn my attention back to myself as well because I firmly believe that in order to be a really good teacher, I need to keep up my own musical skills and I, I've never found a way to just get to a certain level and stay there. I feel like if I if I don't practice, I start getting worse within like a month. So I have to keep either going ahead. So I know that I have to keep going. So I'm looking forward to learning some new classical repertoire, recording some music I wrote. Um, there's a lot of really great online courses you can take, like gospel piano courses or jazz courses. If you guys have any ideas of things that you like to do to keep your skills up or any ideas of great repertoire that you like your students to play or that you like to play, go ahead and leave it in the comments below because we would love to hear what your ideas are as well. The other thing I plan to do is you know, join the MTNA again. Maybe I'm a member of my local piano teacher chapter, but I haven't been very active. If I have time, I'd like to get more active in that this year. And most of all, just imagine 
you know, just put it in my head and meditate, maybe journal and imagine what a great year this is going to be. So I just wanted to make this video to share a few tips with you and to encourage all of you to really get excited about this new school year. And I hope to hear from you all soon. Have a great school year.